The speed ramps in DaVinci Resolve are very easy to do. They'll help your video look much better, and the speed changes will be totally fluid. In this video, I'm going to teach you the correct way to do the speed ramps, just like the one I use in my travel videos. To start, select the clip in the timeline that you want to apply the speed ramp and right-click. Now we must select Retime Controls, or you can directly use the keyboard shortcut, press Ctrl R. And these blue arrows will appear in our clip. First, we must select the point of the video where we want to change the speed, right here on the red line of the playhead. Here, we're going to make the speed change. Now we must click on this small black arrow, and this menu will open. We must select Add Speed Point. We click. I want to pull all this part of the video in fast camera. And right here, we have to add another point of speed so that the final part of the video goes in slow motion. We follow the same ones that we've done previously, and we add another speed point. Great. We see that the bottom of the clip indicates that it's at 100%. This percentage represents the speed of the video. If we play the video, we see that it plays at normal speed. I'm going to change the speed of the middle part of the clip and put it in fast motion. We click on the small arrow and select Change Speed. I'm going to put it at 800%. We see that the clip has been made more short. This is because we've set a speed of 800%. It goes eight times faster than before. Therefore, the duration of the video is shorter. The first part of the video is played at normal speed, then at fast motion, and then returns to normal speed. I go to change the speed of the beginning and the end of the video. To do this, we select Change Speed, and this time we put Slow Motion at 50%. The result would be like this. First, we have a camera slow, fast motion, and end again in slow motion. If you need to make any final adjustments to the position of the speed dot and place it elsewhere in the video, just click on the bottom of this marker and move it left or right. Adjust it as you wish. If we move the bottom part of the marker, it will not affect the speed of the clip. But if we click on the top part and move it, you can see that it's affecting the speed. It's changed from a speed of 800% to 1060%. If we move to the left, the speed will increase. If we move to the right, it will decrease. This method works well if we want very fast speeds. Since if we do it the other way, the maximum we can choose is 800%. Now comes the most important step. Currently, the cuts between slow and fast speeds are not fluid, which means that the video is played at a speed of 50% and suddenly it goes to 1200%. We need this speed change to be smooth and gradual, and this is where the speed ramps come in. You must select the clip and right click. Now look for the option Retime Curve. When you click, this window will appear below our clip. The first step is to click on this icon of the arrow down. We see that the Retime frame box appears activated. This does not interest us. Since we're making changes in the speed of the video, we deactivate it and activate Retime Speed. Now we can see that the speed points that we've previously applied, the first keyframe and the second keyframe. Here we see that it's at a speed of 50%, and as it rises in a straight line at a speed of 1200%. To make a speed ramp, we must click on the keyframe and then change this option that has an icon of a point with a straight line to this other icon that we have on its left. We click and a curve will be applied in our keyframe. We do exactly the same with the other keyframe. To make the speed ramp even smoother and more gradual, we click here and move to the right. We see how the change is now much more gradual. You can modify the speed ramp to your liking and go testing. You can make it more gradual or more abrupt. We do more in the other keyframe so that the speed change is also more gradual. Here we see how it goes in slow motion. It increases the speed little by little. In the upper part, it goes to maximum speed and then it gradually decreases again little by little. Now we're going to play it. Perfect. It has been much better than before, much more fluid. If you have the version of DaVinci Resolve Studio, 
that is the paid version, I advise you to do this last step to make it even better. Go to the color module of DaVinci Resolve. Once you're inside, select a frame where you've put the fast camera. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the last trick. Go to the effects tab. In case it doesn't appear, you just have to click on this tab. Then look for the effect motion blur. Click and drag it over a node. We can see how the motion blur has been applied. To get a better result, I recommend you change the option from faster to better quality. And now you just have to adjust the motion blur to your liking. You can increase or decrease it in this bar here. If you're interested in learning a little more about DaVinci Resolve, you can go through my channel where I have several videos of this style. And that's all for today. See you in the next video.